Well, good morning guys. We've got one day left on this hunt. Wasn't able to make it for any of the other days. Conditions are perfect. We're gonna go kill a turkey today. I'm in one of the best spots you could possibly turkey hunt in Florida. So we are going to try to go kill ourselves a bird. Um, I have a serious bike track, like serious because I brought three extra batteries for my Rad Rover. We are going to be hauling. So I'm gonna keep you guys with me. Stay tuned. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> That was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. All right, guys, I'm switching batteries. It is, uh, um, it's just starting to lose peak amps. Full battery, good to go. I am about nine miles nine or ten miles into 17 18 mile bike ride i've got a little bit left to go we're gonna make a count all right so i just got a flat tire on my bike i'm 14 miles back i'm gonna have to call for reinforcements but you can't let that ruin a hunt so, luckily, there's some cypress up ahead of me. I'm gonna get up in here, see if I can't hear a bird gobbling this morning. Get away from this highway a little bit. I should have brought a spare tube. That was dumb of me. Real dumb. All right, so I got two gobblers right there. Wonder if I can get risky At least three gobbles and hoppers in there. Right there.
right, so. not all that far away but they did not want to come this way this morning and went down on the other side of the cypress and I heard him gobble on the ground maybe twice and then 20 minutes later I heard him in the cut through between the cypress that I walked this morning and I thought I thought something was gonna happen there I had all the cameras on thinking it was about to fire up I don't know if it's my crappy calling or if they just had hens with them and weren't weren't trying to leave them, do a little bouncing around as I make my two mile walk to get tools and a tube for my rear tire, because I made it. My goal was about 17 or 18 miles. I made it 14 of those miles, and I got a flat tire. And I should have thought ahead and had a flat tire and everything, but this was a last minute. I got my crap together last night, came out here. Luckily, my family was able to uh, drop some tools and a tube off for me on the side of the highway. I don't know when that's actually going to happen, but like I said, I got a two-mile walk to where I can, I can grab those, which is, is fine. That's better than a 14-mile walk back to the truck, because... I saw all day hike, and that would have sucked. My bike still would have been out here. So yeah, that's where we're at. Yay! Sneak peek here. See what I can see. I'm gonna pick up my decoy.
they were standing right here somewhere gobbling. And they moved back this way. Well, I was able to uh, get my tire fixed. It's, uh, it's noon now. I'm gonna eat a little bit real quick and uh, we got her on, good as new. Get this old tube, fold it up, put it away, load my stuff back on the, on the bike. And we're good to go. Well, we are going to see if we can't kill a turkey here. So, I've resorted to deer hunting them. I've got the shorter decoy out. It's a little close to me. It's actually a lot close to me, but. Um, this way, if I take a nap, I'll hear it when some gobbler tries to beat the hell out of it. But yeah, so I got the gobbler right here and I got the hen over there. I'm nice and hidden here. If they make noise, I'll be able to see them over here. Just this area, the way it's set up, seemed to be the good highway in between the two cypress here. So um, They roosted right back here last night. I wish we were gonna eat some snacks, chill out. Hope I, uh, hope I hear yeah, one of those. If y'all ain't chilling like this when you're turkey hunting, y'all ain't doing something wrong. I mean, at least when there's no action and it's windy. Turkey hunting ain't so bad. It's some nice shade, there's breeze. I got the boots kicked off. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Now I need a damn turkey. first heard this bird he was back this way I just heard him over here I'm hoping I mean it'd be better if he came this way but I can smoke his ass right through there too for a second there as soon as I started calling back to this gobbler 
uh, like five or six deer spooked at like 50 yards from me. I didn't know they were there. And then he shut up and never said anything. And then, I don't know, five or 10 minutes went by and he just gobbled again, so. It's super windy. I'm not even sure he can hear my call, but we're gonna keep trying. I think if he sees the strutter, he'll come over. Last day of the hunt. Oh God, I took his head right off. Oh yes. Whew. Okay, I destroyed his fan. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a all right little hook. He damaged it. Oh. Whew. Last day guys. I took his head right off. I got one heck of a ride out here. <laughs> I still got 14 miles to go to get back to the truck. <sighs> I'm gonna start packing up here. It was been a long day. I was up at 2.55 this morning. Made an hour and a half drive. Rode a bike 14 miles, so got a flat tire. Luckily came in the woods and there were gobbles here. Now after we got the tire changed on the bike around lunchtime, I came back out and deer hunted this. I knew he'd come in. All I needed to do was see the, the decoy. Heck yeah. Nice.